Top 10 Most Powerful Cruise Missiles in the World Missiles are a type of rocket that can be used to deliver nuclear warheads. Countries own them for a variety of reasons. They are often used as a deterrent to protect themselves from nuclear attack or to launch an attack on another country. Some countries have missiles to deter other countries from attacking them. If the other country knows that they have missiles, it is less likely that they will attack because they know the retaliation will be very severe. These types of missiles are called deterrents and are often placed in strategic locations so that any potential attackers would have to go through them first before attacking the country with the missiles. So in this video, we will discuss the top 10 most powerful cruise missiles in the world. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Number 10. BGM-71 TOW-2B This latest version flies over a tank and launches projectiles at it, piercing the tank's top armor. The previous versions were wired, however, the most recent version is wireless. The TOW can be launched from any ground vehicle. In September 2017, Raytheon received orders worth more than half a billion dollars to construct these wireless radio-controlled anti-armor weapons, which are currently employed by more than 40 armed forces around the world. Number 9. M51 This French SLBM submarine missile is the country's only ICBM, making it an important part of their military strike power. It's a more powerful version of its predecessors with a range of 8,000 kilometers. The three-stage solid propellant weapon can destroy targets all around the world. When fired, the missile travels hundreds of kilometers skyward, launching 6 to 10 MIRVs. Each of them carries a 107 kiloton thermonuclear warhead that speeds down to Mach 25 before launching penetration aids to ensure success. It takes only 20 minutes to traverse 4,500 kilometers, leaving no time for intended targets to respond. Number 8. Agni Missiles 1 through 6 The Hindu god of fire inspired this family of long-range nuclear surface-to-surface -surface ballistic weapons. The Agni 1, 2, and 3 are currently operational. As of January 2017, the Agni 4 had finished its trials, and the Agni 5 is expected to enter service with the Indian Army between 2017 and 2018. The missiles come in a variety of ranges, payloads, and rocket stages. The Agni 3 is a very accurate rifle that is often regarded as one of the best in the intermediate range class. The series employs some of the most cutting edge navigation and control technologies, which were developed in house. Number 7. Jericho 3. This is Israel's first intercontinental ballistic missile. The short range Jericho 1 and the medium range Jericho 2 came before it. There is some evidence that it shares technologies with the Shavit Space Launch Vehicle. The Jericho missiles have changed over time, and the most recent version features a radar-guided warhead with a long range. It encompasses Asia, Africa, Europe, and the Middle East in its entirety. It can also reach the majority of North Oceania as well as North and South America. As a result, it permits Israeli defense forces to launch a nuclear bomb into almost any point on Earth, giving them immense power. The Jericho 3 re-entry velocity is so fast that missile defense systems deployed to on Earth cannot handle them. It is thought that their silos are also impervious to many types of nuclear attacks. Number 6. UGM-133 Trident II This submarine-launched ballistic missile was produced by Lockheed Martin. It is used by the navies of the United States and the United Kingdom. It has been in service since 1990, with modifications that have introduced larger payloads, longer ranges, and improved accuracy since its inception. These enhancements have allowed it to become one of the most effective first-strike weapons. It takes off within seconds after receiving the signal to break the surface of the sea and begin flying towards its target. The Trident II is made up of three solid-fuel rocket engines that fire in a predetermined order to propel the rocket forward. Number 5. Tomahawk Cruise Missile In 1984, the Tomahawk was first deployed. It was called after the Native American Axe. It's a long-range subsonic cruise missile meant to hit land targets that are either well-protected or of great value. It has a top speed of roughly 550 miles per hour and a range of nearly 1,500 miles. Using guidance systems adapted to specific missions, the missile can be guided to take evasive courses, 
the Tomahawk Land Attack Missile, or TLAM, is its official name. Both U.S. and U.K. submarines as well as U.S. Navy surface ships have successfully launched it. The Tomahawk comes in a variety of variations, each with its own set of features. The latest models may be reprogrammed in flight using satellite communications to program alternate targets or reroute using GPS coordinates. It carries a nuclear warhead as well as extra bomblets, depending on the variant. Number 4. DF-41 This is the most lethal intercontinental ballistic missile yet developed by China. It is, in fact, one of the most lethal in the world. Though the exact specifications are unknown, it is thought to have been put into operation in 2016 or 2017. Its range is claimed to be 12,000 kilometers, allowing it to target all of Europe, Russia, and the United States in as little as 20 to 25 minutes. It carries solid fuel as well as up to 10 MIRVs or multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, which increases the vehicle's total power. The internal Chinese satellite navigation system, Bidu, makes it even more precise. The missile is transported into launch position by the Tian HTF-5980 cross-country vehicle, which has a 16 by 16 meter special wheeled chassis. Number 3. RS-28 Sarmat, or Satan-2 This warhead can destroy targets flying between the North and South Poles. It was first shown on the Makivka Rocket Design Bureau's website in 2016. It will have a range of over 6,800 miles and be capable of destroying parts of the Earth the size of France or Texas. This was confirmed by Russian Deputy Defense Minister Yuri Borsov to TASS, the Russian state news agency. The warhead is a successor to the R-36M Voyevoda, and its existence was revealed shortly after Moscow announced that the arms reduction deal it had with the U.S. had been suspended. The new Satan-2 missiles replace the SS-19 Satan missiles, reinforcing worries of a world without nuclear weapons. Number 2. LGM-30 Minuteman-3 ICBM This missile is part of the U.S.'s strategic deterrent forces. It's meant to deter enemies from attacking the country. It goes by the name ICBM because that's its main function. The letter L is the way the Defense Department designates missiles that are launched from the hardened silo. The letter G stands for a surface attack. The letter M means that it's a guided missile. Since the late 1950s, Minuteman missiles have been in use. Quick reflexes, inertial guidance, great reliability, high precision, and significant long-range target capabilities are all features of these weapons. More than 450 Minutemen 3 missiles were deployed in Wyoming, Montana, and North Dakota as of 2015. Since the deployment of the first Minuteman 1 missile in the 1960s, the series has been continuously modified and improved. Number 1. SSN-30 On October 7, 2017, Russian warships launched 26 cruise missiles. They were dispatched to Syrian opposition targets a thousand kilometers away from the Caspian Sea warships. Even those who kept a frequent, well-trained eye on Russian and its military were surprised by these almost unknown missiles, according to the Pentagon. The attack is being interpreted as a sign to the rest of the world that Russia's new missiles have established themselves as among the most advanced in the world. The missiles hit 11 targets, including a terrorist training camp, command centers, armament, oil, and munition storage, and ammunition and explosives manufacturing sites completing their mission. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video.